And guys, this is how you reach the climax of the show. <gasps> Three days. I'll miss this show too much. Oh, Gio, the troublemaker. The troublemaker. Chang Yu looks kind of like awkward. You know, I feel like everyone else is in the show to, you know, chase their ex or my new lover, or whatever. And Ji Young is in this show sent by the production team to create drama. <laughs> Like Ji Young, Ji Young totally felt betrayed by Q, um, Hyung Yu. <laughs> Ooh, why is she interrogating him? Like passive aggressiveness, here we go. She thought this is cute. Oh, it's kind of cute. I still remember me liking Jiyeon because she's really cute. Oh, she took it personal. She, she feel like she got played. Like, why are they not talking directly at the issue? Hyungi reversing the power dynamic like an expert, guys. Take notes, students, take notes! <laughs> this is obviously passive aggressiveness. Oh, 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 she's really angry. I like how Hyungi just looks directly at her, like trying to observe her, see like kind of what she's about. But like she looks really upset. And I don't know why she I don't know why she doesn't talk about the like the actual issue because I can I can kinda understand because she could be like, oh you know like I thought we agree on this thing, I feel kinda like played or betrayed. This is how you turn from a puppy to a wolf overnight, guys. <gasps> oh my god, I feel like it's kinda like your dad needs to have a serious chat with you vibe, you know, it's like you're in trouble and I need to talk to you. Oh my god, I'm so scared. The lecture begins. Why do I feel scared for Gio? I'm feeling <laughs> Oh my god, like oh my god, this interrogation. <laughs> Instead of answering that question, he counter attacked. You've never shown affection to me. Why do I need to go out on a date with you, right? Right, but Hyung Yu didn't think that was a date request, that was just like a general thing. And suddenly Ji Young is talking about Hidu. Yeah, like so from Hyung Yu's perspective, it's like like just because you've had too much of Hidu doesn't mean you can just sort of come at me when I'm having something with him. I bet after this conversation, Gio would not dare try to, you know. Oh my god, oh my god, Hyungyu. Hyungyu is scary, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, this word! Oh my god, this this like three words. I'm feeling the chills. Do we have more to talk about? Gio <laughs> won't back up. No, 
Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not that surprised because obviously he would just straightforwardly say that. Like really, I just feel like, you know, like Ji Yong is obviously not really interested in who Hyung Gyu likes. I feel like she's just asking all these questions to get some goss. He finally got her out of the room, guys. No! He's like so different when he's with him. He just went straight to the point. I love that. And also, Hayden is very straightforward as well. A pretty healthy conversation. I need a K drama featuring Hyung Gyu type of guy. Thank you. Thank you. I actually thought Hayden didn't have much of a thing going on for Hyung Gyu, but I think this slightly jealousy situation sort of helps to remind Hayden like about this relationship. Mm. And yeah, Hayden is like looking at Hyung Gyu, worrying about you know like also Hyung Gyu's. Moods. But the focus is on but. Not surprised, but. Oh, you can! Yes, you can! The world approves you! Oh, she's so honest. Every, I like how everyone is actually cheering for her to move on. Exactly! No. <laughs> they act like a real couple. Yes. Do a direct one. Expose him. Oh. This question seems indirect, but it's actually really direct. So basically, she's asking is it because of me and Hido, or it's because you like someone else now? Lie! What? Are you are you delusional or something? And he's like really careful with like his answers. Not like genuine answer. Of course, it's always somebody else's fault, right? Oh yeah, it wasn't because of now. Exactly. Pei, go. Yes, ask Yumi. Ask Yumi. That was intentional. He was trying to make you jealous. Yeah, he wants to make you jealous like a kid. Bullshit. See this, the, the mouth guard exposes his lies. Hayden already knows the answer. Hayden knows that Yumi is not really being considerate of her. But she has to ask this question, I think, because she wants to live in that fantasy. She wants to convince herself somehow, I'm wrong. You know, like, Yumi must care about me somehow. <laughs> <laughs> you were excuse me oh my god like he's he's basically having like a double defense first of all i was already considerate but if you don't believe it actually i don't need to be considerate because this is transient love you <laughs> can't hear this bs anymore guys 
Making it, she's making it easier for him, so she doesn't need to worry about hurting Hyungyu's feelings. Yes, we won, guys. We won. We have won. See, everyone is actually like smiling and rooting for them, except Kumi, of course. I feel like this is another three days left and people waste on questions like this But Jisoo is a clever girl, she does not waste her answers She exposed him she exposed. <laughs> oh my god, everybody just realized Kumi. Because Kumi is like like having things with every girl. Oh my god, that's so true. Because Kumi bought the chocolate and pleased everyone in the house. But then in the message, Kumi sent Jisoo and be like, actually, this chocolate is for you. Hands filter just broke. Hands like I didn't know you this. I know Jiyo. You finally said what I want to say. Jiyo. I uh. Oh my God, Jisoo. I I oh my God. I don't know what to say about these girls. Did you see Na Young's? Did you see Na Young's facial expression? Na Young's facial expression is like, oh my god, that happened to me too. It's like victim confrontation meeting or something. Yeah, I remember Jisoo was actually before Na Young. I don't think so. If you like someone. What Kumi is basically saying is like, yeah, of course, try harder and see if I may like you more. Like what? <laughs> Every time I see Kumi, I just wanna. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like that's not really a date. It's just like you need to clear things out. And they should have done these things at the house. Like usually when the exes, they all like just do this sort of like solo conversation, and only they somehow like Yumi is always avoiding having a conversation with her. She also exposed how like they just can't have a proper conversation at the house. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Somehow she's really fixated on... What the hell? What is this? It gives me a vibe like Kumi is kind of like treating him like a baby be like Calm down. You know like it's kind of giving me that superiority look. Both questions that he and us is quite fixated on I'm so sad and you don't seem to be bothered I feel like she's having this fantasy to hear that oh, because I'm suffering you must not feel good and that somehow reaffirms he and that Kumi still likes her <laughs> I don't know what Helen wants from this question though. Like, because either if she, either if he feels sad or not, it doesn't mean he wants to go back, come back with you. Like everyone feels bad for you in the house. I actually think that's bullshit. I no, you can still care for someone without leading them on. You know, Tae still like shows a lot of care for Jiyoung, but when Jiyoung like ask him or like, it's very clear Tae is not really into her. <laughs> I 
Somebody need to ask Gilmi expose his lies. 준이형이랑 다시 만나고 싶어? 아직 결정은 되지 않았지만 그냥 그 마음은 있긴 하지. I like I I like she's being honest. 다시 만나고 싶다. Yeah, it's good for Hyungi to know this. I'm actually quite like like him for this reason. Again, yes, but ask more direct questions. It really frustrates me even when she's just like asking something. It's her right to ask something, but she she's having this like I feel sorry for ask you that sort of feeling. She's asking for a chance because I think in her heart she has no chance. But actually, as all the viewers and I think people in the room, they know actually Kumi is kind of like that. And but she's keep she keeps asking for hope basically. And Kumi, if you really want to stay consistent, do not give her hope. He's totally doing this just because now he has competition and now he he lost all the girls. Oh, now you want her to know. What? Where was those feelings before? What? I I thought Hyungyu is going to give idea of like you should ask this. Oh my god! Ah, this is making me so angry. People need to expose Gumi more. They need to ask more questions to Gumi and just like peel through his lies and his mask and everything. What the heck? Ah, I'm so frustrated. Tay Tay is definitely frustrated.